Uh, we are a renowned ski company. Right now, we're currently working on prototypes. Uh, we've made, I think, a dozen pairs of skis. They've all been just for us, just to try out. But what we're doing this winter is we're looking for what we call our alpha test group. It's going to be 50 pairs of custom skis made for each individual skier. The thing that we noticed is that skis aren't really developed to handle a whole bunch of different conditions. Uh, we realized that kind of comes down to not really a geometry issue, but a choice of materials. So what we're doing here is we've actually been looking into new materials that have never been used in skis before to kind of change the performance of the skis. Uh, the company has been co-founded by uh, six other individuals and myself. We actually started our sophomore year. Uh, we would come back from ski trips, we would all go together, and we realized that we wanted to make skis ourselves, and we realized that that type of condition acceptable ski, that, that self-adapting ski that will be great for all conditions is what we wanted to make. And that, that's kind of how we got started, is we just started looking into how can we make that ski, how can we improve it, what do we want to make. And it's, it's been a long process, but we're getting a lot closer. <laughs> that's when we went to talk to the Shipley Center. We came to them with an idea of how can we make this happen, and they actually helped us turn it into a company. I, I don't think any of us thought of this being something we would do out of college. It's just, you know, we were passionate about skiing, we wanted to do it ourselves, we wanted to see what that side of the industry was like, and it went from that idea to a full-fledged business. I never really thought that I'd be doing anything big like this. Um, it's, it's been really interesting the past couple of years to see how it's grown from, again, that idea to what could be the next big thing in skiing. The biggest problem we see with a lot of companies that are getting really big is they have phone trees, they have uh, dial tones, they have everything that kind of keeps customers bouncing around. And we want to be able to keep that nice connection where people can come in and they can talk to us about skis that they want to have made. They can send us an email and we will reply to them. Um, so keeping a small customer base will be really helpful for that. But just in general, we want to have that good connection with people who want to ride our equipment. I think the first thing we want to get out is that idea that we have a self-adapting ski, that we have a ski that's essentially smart technology. It, it responds to not only conditions, but how well the skier is riding, how hard he's riding. Uh, they're definitely rideable. Some of the guys in the company even said that they would rather be on those than the skis that they brought. We're really excited about what's going on. Uh, just this past weekend, we got t-shirts finally printed. Uh, we're working on getting more stuff ordered every day, uh, and we're building up that alpha test group. So if you know anyone that's interested in getting a pair of custom skis made for relatively cheap, um, let me know.